We're just over a month into 2015. We've seen gas prices drop below $3, and the U.S. economy is going strong, while the markets in Europe are weak. Edison Bazika, Vice President of Investments with Hefty Wealth Partners, is here to give us some insight. Edison, thanks so much for being Good morning. Thanks for having here. Me. Um, touch on the labor market momentum and the effect it has on consumers and small businesses. Yeah, so, you know, one of the most notable developments in the U.S. economy here over the past, in the near term especially, has been the labor market. We've had uh, the best 20-year stretch of job creation over the, in the past 12 months alone. And the major significance of that is that it's mainly coming from small businesses, right? Which is a testament to their e economic confidence and overall ability to, to their well-being and, and what they think about the economy. Most importantly, however, that labor market momentum is very important as it relates to wage growth. And we're starting to see the very early signs of an uptick in wage growth, which in turn supports the consumer sentiment and consumption over the long term, which in turn turns into higher gross domestic product, GDP growth. Um, switching gears, discuss oil and low gasoline prices. I know we love to see those numbers. Uh, yes. Two dollars, a little bit, uh, two dollars fifty cents now. Mm -hmm. Um, but what does the future hold f with that? Sure. So, you know, part of that increased sentiment, wage growth, and gasoline prices it has a lot to do with that. Um, we all love paying $2 a gas, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's no doubt about that. Most people haven't seen those in a very long time. But as we look at energy independence in the U.S. and what that may mean for uh, the U.S. communities and those oil producers in the U.S., it would be nice to see normalization of oil prices to about 70 to $75 a barrel. You know, if U.S. does want to be energy independent, we want those companies to be profitable. We want those communities to be profitable, and those companies have a lot to do uh, with that in that process. So I think, you know, in the near term, we should enjoy the gas prices as low as they are, but I don't think it'll be something that's going to stay here for a very long time. Okay, so why is the oil so low? So we have, uh, there's a lot of supply out there. Part of it is a supply issue. Uh, part of it is also a geopolitical issue. You have uh, uh, geopolitical tensions in Russia, um, and Russia is one of the main contributors of energy to Europe and other parts of the world. So when you have any sort of um, turmoil from a political standpoint, there tends to be um, um, risk associated with that. But the excess supply here in the near term has caused those prices to be severely low. That's really interesting. So enjoy that while, while it lasts. Enjoy while it lasts. Shouldn't be here for too much longer, but we'll take it as we can get it. Do you expect them to go much higher, like back to you know, the $4 range sure. that you we were saying? I think the likelihood of, you know, that would be like a $100 barrel, $110 a barrel of oil. I don't think that's in our future. Um, you know, if we look five, ten years out, potentially, but I think in the near term, uh, you know, that two to three dollar range should probably be uh, where it uh, should stick around. And um, I thought this was interesting. Um, the fact that the U.S. is exhibiting an economic environment similar to the one that occurred between 1994 and 2000, mm -hmm. um, why, why would that sure. be? Sure. So, you know, we're seeing a lot of momentum in different sectors of the U.S. economy right now. And if you look at that period back then, it was, it's the exact same thing happening. But the most important thing is that the global landscape um, is very dismal in a sense. Back then we had an uh, Asian currency crisis, we had a Russian debt default, we had the European Union in turmoil in terms of developing their own union, yet the U.S. economy prevailed through all of that. So we're seeing the same cyclical environment now, which makes us feel very confident about um, where we could be going from a historical context. Edison, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks Appreciate for having me. your time.